Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack, and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some pretty exciting news, and that is coming straight from a Microsoft E3 press conference. We finally got a reveal of a brand new Halo game, coming soon to us available on Xbox, and obviously on PC, aka Windows 10 as well, which is amazing news, more on that later. So the press conference opened up with a reveal of Halo Infinite, which is basically Halo 6 I think most of us are on the bandwagon are thinking so far. It doesn't have a number, it's just called Halo Infinite and is absolutely amazing. The trailer kind of acts as a tech demo, but on further review it does appear there are story hints embedded in the trailer. I will be playing it behind right now so you can see it with a little bit of sound as well and basically witness it for yourself. If you want to watch the full trailer I'll provide a link down below while I'm not commentating over it, but the game trailer just blew me away. It was a thing that opened the Microsoft conference and it really was a staple that Halo is back and in the classic art style as well. Starting with the trailer, initially I did think this must be a trailer for some sort of medieval game or some, you know, some sort of exploration game because he's going around exploring crashed ships, I thought oh that looks like a plane. Then there was some underwater sort of stuff going on where he's looking at artifacts, I was like this can't be Halo. Then I saw three people walking um, towards something and then I saw these rings and my first thought was like, oh, it reminds me of the Halo 3, um, the crashed rings from the uh, gravel thing, I forgot what it's called now. Um, and we saw the marines walking through there. Didn't realise there were marines at first, I missed that detail. And then we get to that panoramic view of a sort of valley and there it is. The Master Chief, the classic Halo reveal we've all been looking for. In his helmet reflection, you see the classic Warthog there, well not the classic Warthog, the Halo 5 one. But then we also get the Halo 3 music, and it's just amazing. This is Halo, the classic art style is back, and we are obviously on a Halo ring. Now it is absolutely wonderful. I'm watching the trailer as I'm actually writing and sort of producing this video at the minute, so I have to stop every minute and take a look at it, but it is amazing. Halo is back, and this is the next chapter in a Mass Chief story. Now so far there are story details seeping through, I'm just searching on Reddit right now as I made this, uh, before I actually started recording, and uh, Halo Infinite is apparently set 18 months after Halo 5 Guardians and one year after Awakening of a Nightmare, Awakening of a Nightmare being the Halo Wars 2 DLC which saw the release of The Flood. Now, inside the Halo Pelican cockpit there are actually two details, I picked up on one, someone else has just picked up on another one. A date on the Halo Pelican cockpit says 5-27-560. This would be 18 months or one year after Awakening of the Nightmare. And obviously another neat detail about this Pelican, it actually is the classic Pelican cockpit. Another detail as well, on a sign on the left hand side of the cockpit, it says fight for her. This could be a reference to a Cortana or someone else. We don't actually know, most likely is going to be a Cortana. Winding back on this trailer, we got a review of the Halo ring there, where there's a Warthog driving around, and it looks like people are actually exploring it. We kind of got details of this early on this year, when one of the Xbox developers and heads of the studio, I think it might have been Phil Spencer, don't quote me on it, said he'd really like to get down to a Halo ring at some point and explore it. So this is really going to be like an open world experience, I feel like, where you're actually going to be running around a Halo ring, taking a look and exploring it, and it really gives you an idea of what potentially the story could be. Now, at the minute, I'm kind of on the fence about taking too many details away from this trailer. A, I don't really have much faith in trusting free for free on trailers, not saying that's a mean thing or anything, but Halo 5's trailers was kind of misleading, but hopefully they've learned a lesson from this and going along the right path. Now another thing to take away from this trailer, this could just be a tech demo with minor story snippets put into it, which is what I heavily believe at a current point. This may not be what takes place in the campaign, but there's just little snippets for us to pick up on, A the classic art style, B the dates like um, 18 months, and C the fight for her, things like that and obviously the Halo ring. Now is this the Halo ring and has ended up on, or is this the one Cortana activated at the end of Halo 5? Most likely this is the one she activated at the end of Halo 5, as it actually has ancient human writing in it, compared to the one which Anders is on, which is a freshly built Halo ring. Now obviously the Marines are also in the classic armor as well. Now personally for me, I hope there is a reason behind the change for it, but I wouldn't be too bothered as I do really enjoy the classic Halo art style, especially the Marines. They really had a sense of feel and purpose. In 4 and 5, they kind of just look like plastic toy soldiers, kind of like stormtroopers really. It was a bit boring. I'm glad the Marines are coming back. Now obviously the new game is powered by Slipspace Engine, which is an in-house engine is what I'm guessing, by 343 Industries, and it is quite cool. I can't wait to see where this goes, and obviously so far we've shown some immense powerful graphics, we've got wildlife and all as well, but like I said, this may not be actually in the game, it could just be a tech demo as of yet. Now on the 343 Industries website, a uh, blog post is wrote by Chris Lee, the studio head for FPS. Halo Infinite will feature a new art style that draws significant inspiration for the most iconic and historic parts of the Halo franchise and your feedback, all while modernizing and taking advantage of the full power of the Xbox One family. The new Master Chief helmet directly showcases our new art style. So we go, this is Chief's new helmet. The team also heard feedback loud and clear on the amount of time spent playing as Master Chief in Halo 5. 
In Halo Infinite, the game will focus on Master Chief and his continue his saga after the events of Halo 5. There we go, this takes place after Halo 5 and continues the story. Obviously, we kind of got a hint, this may be taking us approximately 18 months slash a year after Halo 5, which uh, could be pretty interesting, and I can't wait to learn how everything actually connects. Personally, I'm hoping a Spirit of Fire ties into it, as I would like to see a continuation of the Unity Spirit of Fire story. That's personally my no, but I know everyone else primarily wants the continuation of Chief's story. Well, why not? It's amazing. Now, Chris Lee does go on to say the goal of 343 Industries team is to make a great Halo game for our fans, but also invites new players into our franchise. We'll have some unique and unexpected directions to take folks and in a believed way, we achieve this to be alongside our community. The goal of the entire 343 Industries team is to make a great Halo game for our fans, but also invites new players into our franchise. We'll have some new and unexpected directions to take folks in, and I believe that we'll achieve in our build alongside our community, iterating and improving as we go. In the future, you'll be able to join our early fighting programs, but let members of the community play the game with us and give direct feedback, much like our current insider fighting program for Halo The Master Chief Collection. It'll take some time for us to be ready to kick those fighting events off, but we'll do we're very smart and grow along the way. So, I get the interesting idea that this is going to be a very long-term project. We're not going to see anything this year, unlikely to see anything next year, so I'm probably going to guess a release date of 2020. I'll be very surprised if we see Halo Infinite in 2019 though, because uh, I feel like this project could take quite a lot longer. But it has been in development now for at least two years, I'd like to think, so uh, it's, it's kind of hit and miss when you can guess for it. Overall, I am very excited for the future of Halo at this present moment in time. I cannot wait to see what gets brought to the table. It is absolutely amazing. And with a hints of continued story as well, it just makes it a whole lot more interesting. And I'm glad Halo is back to its classic art style. And, you know, it's just really interesting. And I was kind of blown away by this trailer. And honestly, can't wait for it. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get more information. Then again, like I said, this is probably a long-term project. And this is also a tech demo. We probably will get more questions answered later on. Uh, but we'll obviously have to wait and see. Like I say, if this is earlier tech demo, we won't get many details. And probably until next year's E3. I don't see anything else being revealed this year. Uh, Gamescon's probably only the last major reveal event. And I don't see Free for Free personally being there. Who knows? I could be proved wrong. We might get more details coming maybe at the tail end of this year. Now, one thing I personally was hoping for out of E3 reveal was a Master Chief Collection is going to come to PC. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like the case currently. MCC is coming to Xbox Game Pass, which is great for everyone who wants to jump in and try the Halo universe. I mean, you, you can get to jump in and try it on the Xbox Game Pass. It's amazing. Now, personally, I would still like to see a port to PC. Maybe we'll get that next year if Halo Infinite doesn't come next year. Still could be pretty interesting. But anyway, this pretty much wraps up this video on Halo Infinite. I cannot wait for the game. It is going to be amazing. Now, obviously, I'm a massive Halo fan, so I hope to see more Halo content on the channel coming through later this year and as we work our way towards Halo Infinite in the near future. And I hope you stick around as well. I'm a massive Halo fan, and yeah, I can't wait to show you guys more of the story and more of the game to come. I've been Cam Jack. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.